information, so we decide whether the maximum value for it there, and so we specify the time. Now, we, I, I have here in this survey only five questions, but typical survey you may have a thousand questions, uh, more than that, so it will require more than uh, 80 pounds. So what are we going to do? We may need more than one line to store the information. So uh, it would be, so this is our line number one, or we may call it a card number one, and then we may have similarly a card number two, and card number three, and so on. So we set it up that how many cards or how many lines it will take to store the information. And, and so it, it does not happen for subject number one, we have uh, one line, and subject number two, we have two lines, and subject number three, we have three lines there, because that will confuse the SPSS because we have to tell it that look, you know, for each individual, we have three lines, and that's how it's going to be. So uh, what will happen, let's assume that by mistake, uh, uh, you have put only one line or one card for one individual uh, while you have told SPSS that you have three lines for each individual, what will happen? Yeah, what, what will happen is we will pick up the data for subject number two and it will treat it as line number two and line number three for subject number one. So it will be garbage in, garbage out. So for each individual, we have to have one, two, three. So we need one, hmm? two, three, this is ace one. So then we have one, two, three, this is ace two. And then we have one, two, three, this is ace three. Now, if you forgot to put in here, if these cards are missing, for case number two, it will treat this as uh, a card number one, this is card number two, and this is card number three. And so it will, it will just become garbage. It will just become garbage data. And then this card, it will read it as line number one for case number three. So it will just become garbage information. So we have uh, three lines per subject, then we have to make sure that they are Three lines uh, uh, per case, uh, and otherwise, so simply not know what to do. But it really, as far as this piece is concerned, it really doesn't care. As far as this piece is concerned, it really doesn't care how many lines you have, whether you have one line, two lines, or three lines, as long as we tell us pieces that this is the number of lines we have, uh, and then it will just simply read it for us. Um, also, it, it, when we're reading it there, SPSS really doesn't want, doesn't care how many cases you have. Uh, it will just, uh, like the kid brother, you know, he said, okay, three, this is one file, another three, will keep on reading it. Only when it comes at the end and is looking for three lines and doesn't find it there, that's when it will start raising the alarm that while well, we do not have this three there, and then it will send you another flag and it will, it will stop there. So uh, this is the, the, the first thing we have to do is to make sure that uh, we have uh, given, we have set up for ourselves uh, the the code book and where the information is, and um, the uh, set up for us the, uh, the number of lines in which the information is stored. And if we are going to uh, 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 put a decimal in there, then there has to be a space for it there. Uh, we do not have to put the decimal there, then we have to say, you know, how to read that information there. You know, how many digits following the decimal point, so then you can start reading from right to left, and it will automatically insert a decimal point in there. But